Hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. Today you join me on the banks of the River Severn and we're in search of silvers on the stick float. The stretch itself is generally quite shallow but as you'll see in a minute the swim that I'm in today is quite an even pace and down to a feature at the bottom but we'll have a look at that in a moment. If you are new to the channel my name's Danny and every week at six o'clock on a Friday I put a fishing video on the channel and have done for the past couple of years I think we're over 170 videos now so if you're into your fishing the channel is well worth a subscribe and if you enjoy today's video please leave the video a like it really does help the channel out the so last time on the river seven we were on Montford bridge and as i said on that video it is a new river to me i haven't fished the river seven much and when i do approach a new venue this is exactly how i would do it i wouldn't go to the same stretch straight away what i would do is i would go over a number of them so you've got an idea of what type of fishing and waters are on the card Montford Bridge was quite a deep you know seven or eight foot venue whereas today we've got a shallow four five foot glide so there is a mixture of venues there and that's how I would approach any new card when I when I go to the waters give yourself an idea of the different types of waters the club's got on the venue that you're fishing so that's enough with the introduction let's have a look at the setup today and the baits we're going to use to fish the session the rod that i've gone with today is my 14 foot drilling acolyte and it's the acolyte plus i've got my shimano tekken reel with four pound four ounce float fish i've got that fished to a six number four and for regulars on the channel they recognize this float it's my favorite float of all um, it covers both bases really, it's got quite a thick top um, and quite a thick body but it's got the sensitivity in the tip for all types of fishing, it's a great all round float if you're going to be coming across dace and chub and I would imagine today we might come across both with a bit of luck I've got that fished shirt button style and then a small little bulk of number 4 Dinsmore weights just to get the bait down and keep it in the lower layers two number eight droppers to a size 20 hook and i've got two number eight droppers on that line there just you know aids the bait falling slowly through the water and that bottom shot there aids with bite detection so let's have a look at the baits that we're going to use today so bait for the session i've got four pints of red maggot from angler's arc I've got around three pints of hemp seed from Cheshire Particle and one thing that I am learning about this river is the amount of bait that you need so in there normally I would bring maybe two pints with me but today let's say we've got four pints of red maggot there so we really are going to attack the swim so talking about the swim let's have a look at it so this is the swim that I'll be fishing today nice steps down to the peg and if I spin round you can see there's my box and that's the swim and when I was saying about it being fast paced if you look out there you've got quite pacey water and imagine some stream of weed but what interests me the most about this peg today is down the inside if you look down here, you've got a lovely, slow trot and a nice feature at the end that could hold a better fish. But I'm just going to start about here, feeding maggots and hemp, and if I can get a few bites, begin to draw them a bit closer to me, but let's concentrate on getting a few bites first. But what a lovely looking swim that is so as river swims go early impressions are it looks a lovely swim um being quite on the inside of a slack as the first bite of the day what a great start that is and it does look a nice fish oh it's a roach that's a nice start to the session that and not a bad stamp for the first fish 
So as I was going to say there, I've fished quite a few swims over the years on the rivers and this one does look a nice one in the area of its hit it's in because you've got quite shallow water all around and here you've got quite a bit of bit of depth and you can tell there's a bit of depth here like we say we've had two fish there but you can tell there's a bit of depth here because there's no break in the flow if you look over the far side I don't know whether the GoPro is picking it up but you can see how the water is being broken by the stream of weed on the bottom so that would say to me over there it's quite shallow uh, maybe two three foot max whereas here we've, we've got probably four to five so in these early stages of the session it's not all about really getting bites it's about working out the trot that you've got this one here already I can see that the fish are going to naturally like to be at about two o'clock to where I'm fishing but the downside already I can see is the flow comes down quite slow on the inside and it is a bit faster on the outside but it's coming down and into the bank here and not straight down to the tree so if I want to go straight down to the tree I'm going to have to go on the outside of that slightly slower water one thing that we don't want today is that wind to get up it's very early on in the morning and already there's a little bit of a breeze coming down the river and it could make fishing quite hard if we do get a strong downstream wind because it's going to push into this bank even more so to start off with getting plenty of bites but a lot of small stuff and that's a a fish you don't catch very often that's a daddy rough so we'll take a look at him because it is a fish you don't see very often at all i'm pretty sure it's a rough not a fish you really want to see <laughs> normally a bad sign on a river that there's nothing in your swim but we've had that roach and a, a dace and we've had a chub so hopefully it's just a one-off what a lovely fish he is and so rare to see And a thin perfect River 7 roach in mint condition. And there's a few of them about. I'm sure they'll be coming across the hemp. Swim did go a bit quiet. And we've hooked in to a much better fish that's come straight upstream. And he's just holding. It's certainly the best fish of the day. I don't know what it is. I'm just hoping it doesn't bolt downstream. I'm going to take it easy. Oh, it's a big perch. No wonder. No wonder the swim went so quiet. That explains why the dace and the, the small bleak disappeared. It is a nice perch. And I did think it might have been Mr. Pike. But I'm certainly not complaining about it being Mr. Perch. It's a lovely perch. Oh, it's a fantastic fish that really is it's a proper proper river perch and i think that's probably a pb and we'll give him away and there's that perch what a lovely river fish that is three pound exactly it's a very dull morning today 
so the colours aren't coming out great so I might put a couple of stills on after we've finished speaking here but a lovely fish and equals my PB my PB with a purchase three pound but hopefully there might be a shoal of these down there and no wonder the swim went quiet with them you know rough and small dace and trublets with a mouth like that anything's going down it let's get him straight back and get on with the session so after the fantastic start we had that perch and roach and we were getting a few bites but this wind like i said this morning has arrived and it's blowing almost in my face this grass to the side is stopping the wind directly hitting me but what it's doing on the swim is it's pushing the float constantly in and pushing it into the bank and as you can see there i don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera you see how the wind is pushing into the into the bank now the flow wants to go straight the wind wants to bring it in i'm going to just try this line down here and stick on it for a bit and see if we can get a few bites that way it's better to do a, a shorter line with better presentation than it is to try and fish that normal line i think we're showing how different rivers can be in different conditions today the river looks quite beautiful and peaceful but if you look closely you can see not too long ago it was a very different story that ball must be what 10 15 foot up and just shows how the different moods of the rivers in different conditions so what has proved a difficult past hour or two with snags in the river down there and I tried the heavier bolo going up the outside and the snag goes right from the inside all the way out so what I did I've come right under my feet and just really sat it out over depth on the bolo and eventually the float has buried them into another quality fish which it doesn't surprise me that these fish are not coming close in because it's another nice perch and although the swim is proving very difficult you can't complain with two of them another nice perch probably around the pound mark pound and a half maybe the other one was certainly a lot bigger i imagine there's a few of these about they said the last hour has been quite difficult can't find a line down the swim where i can get consistent bites and i think a lot of it is to do with these spooking the shoals you imagine these around them days they're not going to hang about but maybe we can stick at it stay on that line under our feet and just wait it out and see if we can get a few of these quality fish that's a lovely fish that two of them in a session bang on great stuff and one thing for sure while i'm getting them under my feet mr perch definitely isn't about I'm just feeding under my feet, just getting the odd days, and then every so often one of these guys turns up. So, a few hours into the session now, I've just been getting steady bites under my feet from roach, dace, the odd shovelet, but it has been quite iffy, I think would be the word. The fish seem to move in and then move out, which does suggest that mr perch is still about i haven't had any more perch and i've not connected with anything that felt like it was one but it has been quite weird how the fish have been there and then they've just disappeared at times but like i said at the start it's a very pikey as well as perch looking swim 
and every so often hook into a slightly better fish under my feet but they have been very few and far between but it looks like a, a troublet and that's the beauty of this river you never know what your next bite's going to be one minute you can be catching some more bleak the next a shoal of these could move in let's get him straight back as you can see on screen now had a good day's fishing some chub some roach um a really mixed bag bleak i think we had good gin a rough and them two lovely perch and for them two perch i won't forget this session that three pound perch what a lovely fish that was and to back it up with one around the pound and a half mark more than made up hard going at times on the stick float and this fish wouldn't seem to settle on the line and then we had the problems with the snags that meant we couldn't go the full way down the swim so we could draw fish up from the swim but i do think on this river the better fish do hold further downstream and being such a snaggy swimmer couldn't search down the swim and when we've packed in and we've put the fish back uh, there has been a pike showing as well so that kind of explains why the, the stick float was such an iffy experience with all them predators around i hope you've enjoyed this blog as much as i've enjoyed the session if you have please leave the video a like and maybe subscribe to the channel and until next time tight lines in your own fishing and i'll see you next week Tight lines.